Hey guys, so welcome to this morning's ritual. Um, the color of today is golden honey. And to choose that color for inspiration, I used my paint book, which I love. I always use this um, for inspiration for colors or paints. Um, there's all different tones and shades. Um, and I just pick whatever um, jumps out at me that day. And it's also a lot of fun to read the different colors, the names of all the different colors. So, today is Golden Honey. And as you can see, I am wearing my bright yellow and my gold. Um, yellow is symbolic of freshness joy, happiness, optimism, wisdom, and wealth. And the scent for today is lemon. This is lemon essential oil. And it's very cleansing and it is known to improve your mood. And it's also really good for um, productivity. And if you don't have essential oils, then you can easily get a lemon, cut it in half, smell it, put it in your water, put it in your food. It's really good. It has a lot of really good health benefits and it's high in vitamins. Um, so the sound today is the sound of the school bus. Because guess what? For our district, today was the first day back to school. High five, everybody. High five. Whew, we survived. We made it. We all did. So, good job. Um, it was a long summer. Whew, it was the first summer I've had my girls. Actually, the first time in my lifetime I've had all three of my daughters home for that amount of time. Full time. Um, <laughs> but yay! I'm just looking forward to this upcoming school year and getting back into the groove of that. So I'm sure everybody out there is too that has kids. Um, so the wisdom for today is the hope of reward sweetens labor. I heard a woman speak yesterday about a concentration camp prisoner who survived three concentration camps and then, um, later on in his life just not having to die of natural causes but um he is a, he was a survivor and he wrote in his book that um he knew that as soon as others other prisoners there had given up hope he knew that it was just a matter of time before these people died and um he said sometimes it was within hours once they had just lost hope and given up it was a real quick way to death. Um, but it was really inspiring. Like, that's the sad part. But it was really inspiring to me because the flip side of that is he kept going because he never lost hope. Um, and that's how I see life. Like, I don't, no matter how bad it gets, like, I never want to give up my hope. Um... It's like hope anchors the soul, and I believe that. Um, and also, so the hope of reward sweetens labor. So, to me, it's like if you have something to look forward to and you're excited, then it just helps keep things going. And then, um, you know, you look forward to something little, and then it gets here, and then it's like, wow, and then something else comes along, and it's like, wow. So that is like baby stepping, like that keeps you going throughout life, like all these little hopeful events. And it really can be just the simple things in life. It doesn't have to be something extravagant and big and fancy. Just the little simple things in life is what I look for. And, um, you know, there is a lot to be hopeful for and grateful for. And you can take a minute if you feel like, there isn't anything they just take a minute and just think because um, it surrounds us it really does it's just a matter of getting quiet and finding it um, 
So the quote is, it's a beautiful day, don't let it get away, from Bono. And I love this, it's so pretty. Um, and that's another thing too, like beauty surrounds us, it truly does, it's everywhere. Um, you know, just to focus on something beautiful and not be ugly, at least for me, I definitely want to just be surrounded by beauty. Um, it's kind of like my way of life. Like I just, I don't want to see the ugly. I don't want to look at it. I just want to try to find the beauty in everything. And um, like to me, it's like these little beautiful things, they add up. And then before you know it, it just like strings little, like a little necklace. And the next thing you know, you got more and then more. And then hopefully, you know, my goal, my personal goal is to one day, um, it can be a whole lifetime added up of just nothing but beauty. I mean, of course there's in the other stuff, but um, it's my hope and goal and dream to just have a beautiful life, just all strung together into a beautiful tapestry at the end, towards the end. So, um, so I like to jot down, um, the beautiful things that I see. It could be a shirt, it could be a color, um, a picture, a car, a bird, the sky. It's gorgeous out here right now. The beautiful sunshine. Um, so yeah. Um, and favorite things. Now I have a I have a book that lists um, just lots of favorite things that you can write about. So I just opened that up this morning. I usually just open it up and whatever I, wherever the page opens up to, that's what I write about. So today was wide open spaces. Where do you love to get fresh air? And I have two. Um, so if you're inspired, think about that for a minute. Wide open spaces, where do you love to get fresh air? Just think about it in your mind. Just remember that or write it down if you like. Um, and that way later you can go back to it. Or keep writing favorites, your favorites. But anyways, so where do I love to get fresh air? I definitely have a tie between two of my most favorite places. And that is the mountains out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by forest. That to me is where I love to get fresh air. And it is tied with my second, which would be the beach. The, um, the sea breeze, the smell of the ocean and the sun and the seagulls and the waves crashing. Just love it, love to breathe all that in. Um, so those are my two favorites. I definitely couldn't come up with one for that. Um, so, I am currently reading a book and it is called Switch On Your Brain. The Key to Peak Happiness, Thinking, and Health by Dr. Caroline Leaf. So it's a very interesting read. I'm always reading all different kinds of stuff. But I chose this one today, and I thought that this was interesting to share. Um, and it is, one brain generates more energy, which um, energy is electrical impulses, in one day than in all the cell phones on the planet. So we have the power to make changes. We don't have a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Our default mode, mode, our soul, which is our intellect, will, and emotions, is powerful, strong, and driven by principles of love. Don't let the media, doctors, or other people in your life convince you otherwise. You have the power in your mind to change the negative, toxic manifestations. Our minds shape the world, and that is what neuroplasticity is all about, change. So, I love to talk about change and all these kinds of things, and um, 
beauty and wisdom and sights and sounds and favorite things. Um, so I don't know. I hope that encouraged you today. So it's, that's kind of like my morning ritual. I take all these things plus add an exercise in, which today could be something like a walk outside and enjoy the sunshine because pretty soon fall is going to be coming and the sun isn't going to be out quite as long. Or maybe some yoga is always good to quiet your mind and um, stretch you out and get you limber. Um... And then I also usually take it one step further. So all these things I was talking about here, I just think about these throughout probably the rest of my day. Um, but then before I go on in my day, I will take my journal. Yes. <laughs> this is my latest journal. It is Wonder Woman. I, I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan. I definitely believe in all she stands for. And she is a freedom fighter. And... Um, she's a good role model and um, I love watching the classics <laughs> from the 70s I have the DVD set um, anyways this journal was given to me by my best friend a while ago but I just started using this one um, so then I jot all this down and just all different things that happen throughout the day and then I can always go back and look at it later. So that is it, folks, for today. So I'm going to go and have a super day in my golden honey <laughs> and smelling like lemons. And I hope everybody out there has a beautiful, golden, sunshiny day. So peace. Love you guys.